trying to find the best pet simulator 99 secrets as you can see there's a lot of videos on the subject and most are completely clickbait like this one here that says i get a guaranteed huge pet if i hatch at 3 a.m well i guess the only way to disprove that is to wait till uh 3 a.m oh boy 3 a.m it is 301 in the morning i can't believe i'm actually doing this this literally in the morning let's hop into a game let's see all right it said that if i did it at three o'clock in the morning i could do it we'll just do 10 eggs i don't i don't trust this at all guaranteed huge if i don't get the huge in this this is totally busted click for extra luck it's not gonna work no this is a very bad example. I don't know. Take that information with what you want to do with it. I'm going to bed. I was trying to disprove it, and somehow or another, I ended up proving it right. Whatever. Let's just fast forward to next morning, me. All right, it's now the next day. Like, I don't know what happened last night. That was really weird. Call it luck. Call it skill. Call it a secret. But the question is, what are the actual secrets? Well, I spent six hours watching countless videos to find some more interesting stuff. And yes, I even even went to the barren wasteland of what is called the Pet Simulator 99 TikTok. I have a TikTok. I don't use it very often. And whilst doing searches, I found out there is straight up an imposter me who has been uploading a lot of my videos. <laughs> We're gonna have to get it taken down. If you wanna follow me on TikTok for whatever reason, it's right here, at Mr. Nightfox. But that's not what this video is about. From secret games to usable hacks that actually save you Robux and all the dumb things in between. Let's Let's go ahead and get started and we're actually going to talk about the newest secret from big games themselves and all you got to do is go to their big game super fun group you know which is actually the one that came out with that big drive into a hole and you did just that where you ran and then dived down into the hole and at the bottom you got things and everybody thought it was a pet simulator night early release code or something allowed you to get to the game early no, you just got big win, a hundred million coins. And yes, I did just spend 10 minutes getting all the way to the bottom just to prove a point. Please hit that like button so it was worth it. But they actually released a new game called Push People Into Lava. And there's actually only been 20,000 people that has visited it since its release. So it's basically brand new. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check it out. Just from the looks of it, it kind of looks like it's got some like blade ball-esque style gameplay. We're not even playing the game yet, and I'm getting put. I'm coming after you, kid in the green. Where's that? Where's that kid? Where's that kid? Whoa! Bro pushed me hard. Jeez. I understand how this game works now. You just run, and you click, and you jump, and you stay away from people that can hurt you. These kids. Oh! Oh! Let's go! Come on! All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. No, 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 I refuse, I refuse. Go to the middle, make sure you jump when you get pushed. Bro, people are pushing me while I'm being pushed and it's like saving me kind of. Oh my God. Hey, yo, it's these two kids that like push me at the beginning. I'm gonna push them. They're done, they're done for. Come on, come on, come on. How? I don't care if there's a secret in this game. Play it for yourself. You can tell me if there's anything at the end. I'm not gonna waste my time. <laughs> let's get to the game at hand. Pet Simulator 99. All right, let's talk about the secrets in this game. Now, I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of them. Most of them are stupid and dumb. Some of them are actually good. We'll get to the good ones at the end. First, let's go over some ones that probably everybody knows at this point. Starting with the most famous one, that's how to get the huge angel dog. Only two exist. It's based off an achievement award. This achievement award that you get by going into this thing right here jumping in and dying and then spamming the home button you'll die you'll go up the stairway to the heaven that literally everybody clickbaited for a month saying that they got it when only two ended up existing for those that don't know the staircase actually infinitely regenerates so when you get to this point here a code runs puts in a probability thing and it'll either regenerate staircases for you to run up it again or it'll generate this area right here where you'll actually run to an end to a big huge angel dog and at the end you'll get rewarded awarded a golden huge angel dog. The problem is there's like a one in one million chance that it'll spawn in, which means 999,000 times you go through this staircase to get to the top to where it'll run that code. Uh, you're just gonna get more staircase. And while some people can do this literally one time, get the huge angel dog in literally 30 seconds, some people could actually do this forever statistically and never get it. Another secret we're not really gonna talk about is this one right here, Preston Shop. And it's fun because 
because so many people clickbaited like finding the secret code to be able to unlock it and then it ended up just being like that it's a secret shop that is going to come out seasonally that you can go and buy for instance the new year's fireworks it's actually not a secret at all there was no secret code and you were lied to <laughs> there's also the name tag secret which is the thing that allows you to name a pet and it says literally there just don't name it joe and what happens if you name it joe it, it names it to joe mama and speaking of another secret that pretty much everybody knows about if you go to the tiki area right beside rebirth area one and you shimmy your way up behind the big titanic cat butt you can actually scroll out and see that there's a secret little thing right there i've got the free cam and i can zoom in on it to where it's one of the devs standing in front of a sign that says welcome to ohio now i've been to ohio one time kind of looked like this it was very boring <laughs> and we just lost all of our subscribers in ohio but something you didn't know is that if you had the titanic dragon you can just kind of go fly over we can go visit ohio yo what's up dude yay ohio okay hopefully that got people to subscribe again once you're here there's not really anything cool it's just all like back stuff i don't even know why they have it because you can't even like see this whole area you can't even like really go off the side of the map except if you do right here and when we fall where does it take us oh wow it's like we've seen this place before now, of course, I got all the well-known secrets out of the way just in case some people have lived under a rock, but mainly because I wanted to cut down on the amount of comments of people telling me things that like literally everybody knows about. Kind of like standing in this area. If you stand right here long enough, you'll see one pet just get tired of their owner and go yeet themselves to this owner and basically just start a new family altogether. But what happens if we try to follow them in there? Will we be able to go into the building with them as well? Well, let's just sit here and find out. Oh, it's the monkey. Follow the monkey. Follow the monkey. Follow the monkey. Yes, yes. No! Okay, I didn't take you anywhere. Is the monkey in there? No, the monkey disappeared. <laughs> Speaking of pets randomly popping up around the map, there's also this one. Fly over to the Wild West. You walk up to this outhouse over here, and ever so often, this door will open, and a toilet cat will come out and ask you for toilet paper. If, if you could speak cat. It, he'll just open the door, and he'll just kind of stare at you. But I promise you, he is in there. Just uh, doing his business. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, hey, uh, yeah, uh, toilet paper, uh, fresh out. The only thing I have is this. <laughs> It, it was a it was a cat. He shut the door, but like he's he's going, man. Look at this. Look at all that steam coming off of him, man. He's he's stinking up the joint. It ain't smoke. It's smell. All right, so that's like the well-known Easter eggs. There are a few others. Pet Simulator 99 actually has two main builders in this game. They're the ones responsible for building the entire new areas, all of the aesthetics that you see here, and they like to hide themselves in game. One of them is here, and the second one we got to go from level 65 to level 67, make our way back here, and on the back of this slope. You have the other one. There you go. Two more Easter eggs. That brings us to this enchanted tree here. If you go up to the tree, click A, you'll see a message pop up that says, sounds like an empty tree. For those that don't know, this used to say, nobody's home. But because I have a little bit of some dev abilities, I'm going to actually just go in here and see if it is an empty tree. And yeah, it's confirmed. It's an empty tree. There's nothing cool in here. Basically meaning someday, some point or another, this is going to open up and it'll take you to, I don't know, a, a new land or something, a new mini game and a new shop. These are all well-known secrets. Secrets. But why don't we move on to the more unknown secrets? Such as here in the pyramid obby. You make your way through the obby, past the little fists, you go up here, and then you go down here. I don't know what this little secret area is, but I feel like at some point in our pet simulator 99 journey, there will be an update where there will be something secret right here. So don't forget it. Also, while we're here, I'm going to show you one little cool other trick. If you ever find yourself playing hide and seek with your friends, come up here and hug the very first one. And then as the wall comes out, you can kind of shimmy your way in here and make your way back behind the fist itself. And then nobody will find you. For the next secret, if we go over to the Crystal Caverns and go into the minigame, you come across the Minefield minigame. The object of the game is to get to the end without stepping on a bad block. Can we make it all the way to the end? Can we do it? Can we? No, we can't. I knew that was going to happen. But what if I told you there's another way? One that isn't hard and causes massive amounts of death. All you gotta do is go over to the left or the right side and then just kind of angle yourself diagonally and just start jumping and you will bypass literally everything. <laughs> Oh my god. Now, there are some preventative measures put in place, but as you see, if you do it correctly, you can find yourself getting all the way to the end without actually having to beat it. We're almost there and... 
Okay, yeah, we died. And if you've made it this far in the vid, congratulations. Now we're gonna actually see some useful ones. And we'll start with some easy ones. First off, if you find yourself in your inventory and you wanna go ahead and select all your apples, you can click or tap all the apples to get them to eat. Or you can right click or hold the tap button down to eat the max amount. You can even do it for the items that you have a lot of, like the thousand toy bones that I have. I can right click, use all. And now I've got three days worth of toy bones. Or we have the Christmas cookie here that deals 10% damage faster. I've got 13,000. Right click, use all. Now for the next 47 days, I will have it. It doesn't work on everything though. You can't right click on the gift bag and open them. You still have to click them one at a time, as well as the potions. Speaking of being able to do things faster, if you head on over to the castle area, you'll come across this mini game right here, the spinny wheel mini game. The object is you spin it, it wastes one of your ticket and you get the item in which case this one item sucks. And then you go ahead and do it again. But here's the thing. If you spin X, you'll get the item and you can do it so much faster so you don't have to actually wait for the spin. I don't know if you're gonna get lucky or not, but hey, it's at least something to save you a little bit of time. Speaking of times, let me tell you about how to get some record obby times. If you don't know, Pet Simulator 99 has its own speed running genre where you try to beat the obbies as fast as possible. Right now, the current first place for the classic obby is seven 17 seconds and 500 milliseconds. It seems doable, but like when I try to do it, go, 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 go. go. No, no, no. Yes, 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 go, go, go. I got 21.5 seconds, which is a full four seconds slower than the record. Now, obviously those people aren't waiting for the little things and they're not going back and forth. They've got fun little tactics. Here's this video by Incorrectly R, who posted the classic obby speed run of 17.87 seconds, which was the former world record. First, they kind of like line themselves up way back here to give themselves a running start. And then they run and bypass the whole first area by just jumping and kind of hug the side. It's where they can like cut corners and stuff. Then they jump. They don't wait for the final thing. They barely missed it there. They jump over the spots without going back and forth. They get to the very end. And then what do they do? They they do that. They, they just they just win. The person that actually won the world record tactic, I actually saw on Twitter. And what they did is basically did the exact same thing, except for at the very end, they jumped on this beam right here and then catapulted themselves off to shave off a couple of hundredths of a second. And that gave them the world record. But for those that actually had a keen eye, when I was in here a second ago, you actually saw my best time at a little under 17 seconds. And how was I able to do that? Well, there's actually a few methods and some are harder than others. The one that most people will try to do, mainly because they don't have the option to do the second and easier option, is they'll try to go ahead and they'll spam click the hoverboard button or spam press Q to try to get it to where you'll get the hoverboard when you walk in. As you can see, it's easier said than done. Now, there is an easier way to do this, and it involves auto clicker if you set it to 10 milliseconds and then just have your mouse go here, turn on the auto clicker to where it looks like this, and then try to go in. You'll still not get, I don't know, it's really weird. <laughs> But here is where things get crazy if you have one certain item in the game. And that certain item is the newest Titanic, the Titanic Silver Dragon. It is so OP, it's not even funny. And let me show you why. First off, get out your Titanic Dragon. Make sure you can mount it. Then make sure you have your hoverboard. Then after you have your hoverboard out and your Titanic out, get on your hoverboard and then get on your Titanic. And then when you're on your Titanic, don't click the dismount, click the hoverboard button to get back on the hoverboard and then when you go into the obby all you have to do is click q you will now be on your invisible titanic and all you gotta do is just go start and uh we'll dismount there we go we did it in eight seconds and i could do it even faster than that and it doesn't work for just this obby right here either we can do it in the desert pyramid obby no. where we can now beat it in two seconds we can also do it in the ice obby. You just gotta wait till the loading screen pops up and click Q and then you'll be on it when you get in here. So then we'll run over here. Wait, I can't do it in this one. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, here we go. Done. <laughs> 13 seconds. And then you get the rewards. You wait for the cooldown, and then you just go do it again over and over again. Saves you a lot of time and effort. And also helps with the rank rewards where you have to complete the obbies. And tell you how you had to complete them. Speaking of the rank rewards in the quests, let's talk about how to easily complete them. Now, some of them are very annoying, like this one right here, the break 1,650 diamond breakables. If you're paid to win, the best way to go is to the VIP area and just start clicking away. Look how fast that goes up as compared to in the last area where you're sitting
sitting here breaking and it's not going up at all. Seems unfair, right? What if I told you there is one place that's more known for diamond drops than any other place outside the VIP area? If you are a free to play player, go to the level 25, the Tiki area, as it tends to have the highest diamond drop. I mean, look, there's already like six or seven in here. We'll go in here and we'll just start doing it. And if you're really OP and you have the game pass, click on the auto farm for this area and let your pets work there while you yourself go back to the VIP area and click here. Then you'll get the double bonus. Another thing I like to do that actually helps with these rank rewards is going into the best area, making sure my pets are here, and then also setting my enchants to have the chest mimics up, the lucky blocks up, the diamond chest mimics up, as well as two fortunes. Having this setup right here maximizes the amount of drops that happens in here. So you'll see a lot of coins. We'll do the massive comet. So you'll see a lot of comets fall in this area. And while all of this is going on, I go to the spawn area and I sit here and I hatch. So now every time I get a quest where I have to break something in the best area, whether it be gems, comets, coin jars, chests, or I have to hatch my best pet, hatch an insane pet. Either one, I'll have it covered without actually having to do anything in the game at all. So I'm gonna leave this up for 30 minutes. We'll see how many rewards I get in that time. All right, and here we are 30 minutes later. How many did I complete doing absolutely nothing? I got four rewards and it's not just like the easy ones. We're halfway through the Titan ring. I have got four where each one is worth like six, seven. So like I probably did, let's see, the breakables was not anything I could do. I only did the last one and I was able to get all of these done. So we'll go ahead and claim these. We are halfway through this stupid one. So there you go. You can do that. You can also take it a step further because as you see here, even though I've been hatching for 30 minutes, I still have max coins. And the trick with that is just have your people working on the last area and then have an alt account who puts down a magnet flag every five minutes. Also, this isn't really a secret or anything, but if you equip all your enchants with speed five and then also give yourself the tennis ball and the hot cocoa, you can run like Sonic. Like this is how fast I do on the hoverboard. This is how fast I do off. <laughs> Speaking of going faster, there is a secret that you can do. It'll actually save you Robux and actually works better. And it involves the auto hatching. As you can see, when we go to the auto hatching, this is how fast we auto hatch. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty fast. But what if I told you you don't even need it? Because all you actually need is our good friend, the auto clicker. As soon as you press the E button, you can actually work it in a way where you can press the E and buy the egg at the same time without having to actually move your mouse. Now, obviously I can click or I can turn on my auto clicker and just watch it do everything for me. And it actually does it a lot faster. I am now actually going double the speed here, getting double the amount of pets than if I had the auto clicker on and it's free. And that's a great price. Another secret that you might find handy actually comes with the social rewards here. Cause if you're like me, somebody might've actually taken your verification or maybe you're not even old enough or don't have a Twitter account or X account, I don't, whatever. But what if I told you you didn't even need one? For this, I need my alt account. <laughs> Yes, I know my alt account has no clothes on. He's working on it, okay? But as you can see, he doesn't even have a X account. I gotta verify it, but I can literally type in anything like sub to Night Fox. The username has already been verified. And Joey311, successfully verified. I don't even know who Joey311 is. Don't even need an X account. Now you can start getting rewards every six hours for free. Now that's about all the secrets that I could find that are worth anything. But there is one other thing that I gotta show you. See, while I was neck deep in searching through all these videos, trying to find secrets, I did stumble across one video that actually had some secrets I've never seen before. Problem is it actually belongs to a channel that is known for like exploits and stuff. So like, I'm not gonna give you their channel name and it's this kid right here. So this guy actually gets into the Pet Simulator 99 files, grabs the hoverboards and he throws them into the workspace. Upon doing so, he actually gets to see every hoverboard that's actually in the game so far, whether it's been released or not. Point your attention to the these three right here. This is the normal hoverboard. This is the oversized hoverboard that you get for redeeming 20 merch codes. And then you got this one. <laughs> Clicking on it, you see there's the original, there's the oversized, and there's the really oversized. You see the devs Porsche hoverboard as well as this a steampunk hoverboard. There's also the Halloween cat. There's a bunny hoverboard. There's the axolotl. We got a ducky hoverboard as well as the blobfish hoverboard. There's a tiger hoverboard, a pegasus hoverboard, and a 
unicorn hoverboard. Yes, that's right. A skateboard, a cardboard, and a camo hoverboard. The cosmic hoverboard, which looks absolutely insane. And then you see some other stuff that have been released into the game. So maybe those are more leaks than they are secrets, but hey, nonetheless, it was cool to see. So now we come down to the final secret. And the final secret is that, hey, I know a way for you to get a huge pet. And all it takes is for you to hit that subscribe button. Type in your username down below. It's pretty easy. All I do is I copy the link of this video that had over 6,000 comments in it. I pick a winner and we got Evan the Cake Boy. I was five when I made it. Don't bully me, bro. Evan, I ain't gonna bully you. What I'm gonna do is copy your username, go over to the mailbox and send a propeller cat called Joe Mama because that's what I said I would give away last time. Full name, bro. Submit, send, bada bing, bada boom. It's done. The next huge pet I'm giving away is, you know what? All right, fine. A huge dragon. Looks like I've got a golden huge stealth dragon that I don't need. So you want one, you know what to do. Thanks for watching gamers. I'll see you again soon. Everybody's watching, all eyes on me.